a lot of our viewers comment to make a video about cryptocurrency. We might be a little late on the suggestion, but we were researching so we can explain crypto in simple terms. Anything a person knows is useful and cryptocurrency is one of those and it's expanding every day so it's good to know about it. Let's get to the show. So what is this cryptocurrency anyways? Where does it come from? Is it a physical thing? Like is it cash you put in your pockets? No. Just like the internet, this money is not physical. First of all, we have to know crypto is a type of money that cannot be counterfeit and you can't create fake ones. You have to count crypto just like money, like the dollar, euro, or pounds. These are all currency. Crypto is a currency but in the internet. So just like any currency, you could use these cryptos to buy stuff online or exchange it with money. First of all, we have to see where this currency comes from. There's no bank that creates these types of currencies. There's no factory or printer that creates them. Everything is on the internet. If you want to mine crypto from the internet, you can. You just have to start mining it. Not the mine you're familiar with, but a mine in the internet. There are these computers that are called miners or a crypto miner. Basically what this miner does is that it gets electricity from your factory. It goes into the web, gets codes and tries to solve the code. And when it solves the code, it gets a crypto in return. To do this type of mining, you need a huge warehouse, a lot of miners, and an insane amount of electricity. Electricity that is pretty cheap. Because when these computers work harder and harder, the more electricity they need. And an investor has to spend a lot of money to provide these tools. They spend a lot of money to create a warehouse, and it has to have coolers in the warehouse. Because when the miners do their work, they create a lot of heat. And when it gets hot, they get slower and slower. So if a person invests all this money for this type of organization, they have to account for all the bills, electricity bills, rent money, employees. It has to profit from all of it. This was the short version of how crypto is mined. You could kind of look at it like a gold mine. So when you mine the gold, you get gold. But was it all worth it? Because there is mines around the world that has gold, but getting the gold out is more expensive than the value of the gold itself. In a country like the United States, if you want to mine crypto, you gotta pay more and add on top of the bill. This type of factory is good for countries that have cheap electricity and a lot of it. But if you want crypto, you don't have to mine it, you could buy it. Just like anything, you could buy it, but it's only online. For you to buy some crypto, the first thing you need is a wallet. There are two types of wallets. There's a regular wallet and then a cold wallet. A wallet is pretty much like an application or a website and it's kind of like PayPal and through this app you create a wallet and when you have it you could buy any type of crypto you like Bitcoin Ethereum and all types of others but the most common and most expensive ones are these two when you have a wallet you have access to it Anything that's in this wallet, it's yours. And the price of these crypto go up and down all the time. Like for example, if today Bitcoin is $33,000, and if your wallet says one Bitcoin, you have that much money in your wallet. So if a crypto moves up and down, the number of crypto doesn't move. 
but the set value in dollars does go up and down. You could look at it like a stock market, but a type of stock market that moves up and down a lot and unlike stocks, it's open 24 hours a day. So what is cold wallet? Cold wallet is pretty much the same thing, but everything is in your pocket. Cold wallets are a type of flash drive or memory card, and when you connect it to a computer, you have access to your wallet. But when you take it out, it's kind of like a memory in your pocket. If you lose it, all your money is gone. The safety of a cold wallet is a lot less, because they could steal it, or worse than that, you could lose it. Or your place could catch on fire, and everything is gone. Cryptocurrency started from Bitcoin, and Bitcoin started in the year 2009. In 2009, if you wanted to buy a Bitcoin, each coin was less than one cent. Meaning with one dollar, you could buy more than 100 Bitcoins. And right now, each coin is worth around $40,000. Just calculate that growth. This non-stop growth of Bitcoin started the cryptocurrency world. And other cryptos joined the market. And right now, there are more than 4,000 different types of cryptos. But the most famous ones are the ones we mentioned. If you want to invest in crypto, you have to do your research and be patient. Because you can buy Ethereum for $2,300 and tomorrow it's $1,700 and you regret buying it. But the day after next, it could go up to $2,500. Always remember this, if you want to invest in crypto, never invest the money you actually need because there's a chance that you need the money and have to sell the crypto at a cheap price. And in that case, you have lost a lot of money. Unlike the stock market, the crypto market moves up and down drastically. Like for example, Bitcoin itself, in December of 2017 was around $20,000, but the next year it crashes so hard it gets to $3,300, meaning their investment turned into one-sixth of what it used to be. When the market crashes this hard, a lot of people lose hope and begin to sell all their life savings. But some people don't need the money and they just keep it in the market. The same Bitcoin that crashed super hard around two years after, meaning on April 2021, hit an all-time high of $63,700. And the next month, it went lower and it got under $30,000. It went back up again and right now is around $40,000. If you want to open a wallet, you should do your research on what fits you. There's a lot of websites and application you could choose from. There are a lot of different types. These physical coins you're seeing, they're all fake. Don't think that these have value. If you want, you could buy these coins for around four or five dollars on Amazon, and it's just for fun. But there's no physical thing you can put in your pocket, except a cold wallet. But that's just a USB flash drive looking thing. If you want to invest your money into crypto market, watch the news because with one word, the prices could go up and with one word, it could go way down. Multi-billionaires like Elon Musk once said that they accept Bitcoin for Tesla. And when he said that, the Bitcoin price rise a lot. Then after that, he said, no, we don't accept it anymore. And it came way down. A couple days ago, Amazon put in an advertisement that they're looking for crypto experts. Just this one advertisement made the market grow. And they said Amazon is going to start using Bitcoin. But a couple days after, Jeff Bezos says we're not sure. Then the prices came down again. Then a couple days ago, Elon Musk and Jack Dorsey, the CEO of Twitter, said that crypto has a very bright future. Just this one word made the prices go a lot higher. Just know, 
If you want to invest your money in crypto, watch all the news relating to the crypto market. And you should also know this, that these cryptos aren't controlled by any government and they can't put a hold on it. And one more thing before I forget is that if you want to invest your money in like Bitcoin or Ethereum, you don't have to put all your money and buy one whole coin. Like for example, you could buy $100 of Bitcoin, which turns out to be in today's money, 0.0025 Bitcoin. 